Hello loves, how you doing? Um, so our last video, I just asked you to go write down some of your emotions and your feelings tied to your sacral chakra. Hopefully you added some in there that really tie into your power and some of the good things that you're experiencing. Um, I know some of those um, other areas are really tough to look at and really address. Maybe you have before. Maybe you've looked over them a bunch of times. Maybe you're just diving in, but it is so worth being transparent and honoring where you are. And so I'm so proud of you. And so I promised I wouldn't leave you in that space. And so um, next we're going to be talking about shifting those emotions and it's really good to not just stay stuck in that where you feel like the victim, you feel like these are the hardships that you've been through. And I really like I want to teach my own daughters how to like move through and get to the other end of those emotions. Um, before we dive into um, the other end of those emotions and dive into especially oils really do help us. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this book. It's called Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils. And um, the reason why we're covering essential oils first is because all the other tools that I'm going to be showing you, you can integrate essential oils within them. Another reason why I am sharing oils first is because they are such a vibrational tool. Like you can use sound healing, sound healing. We're talking about vibration, remember? Like vibrations can come and carry through into our body. It's like standing in front of a big subwoofer and you can feel like the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass. Well, you know, oils have, if you're using the right oils, um, they have a big, ginormous vib vibrancy, vibrational makeup that is way higher than our bodies. So our physical bodies, if we're healthier between like 68 and like 72 gigahertz. Well, some of these oils and the oil brand that I use is Young Living. Those oils are proven to be like into like 200, 300 megahertz. So whether we're taking internally, like I said, I use the Young Living. It's the only brand that I would use internally. They have instructions to use internally, whether you're taking supplements or popping essential oils into a veggie capsule and taking it internally or applying it into our body or smelling them takes only just a matter of seconds to get within our blood bloodstream to be able to take that vibrational energy of those oils within our body or applying them. They actually help to shift the energy out. And the reason why they work is all of our memories are stored within our limbic system and the limbic system within our bodies is responsible for um, storing our memories. And the magical thing as well is that it, our limbic system is also responsible for our sense of smell. And so that is why our sense of smell can override what we're feeling and it can help shift and process the emotion out. So that's just like I always use the analogy of like, what it like if you have good memories of your grandma and what her house smelled like like my sweet grandma's house smelled like tortillas so like every time i smell tortillas it reminds me of grandma so if you're going to those emotional traumas you go and you take that oil and you say you know i'm going to walk through this and instead of feeling like a victim i'm calling my power back in i'm calling back my power you take that oil you smell it you're actually accessing that limbic system and you're shifting not only the energy out of your body but you're reprocessing the uh, electrical connections within your mind of long-term short-term memory a lot of people use emdr um, and tapping to like shift those emotions but oils are a loving way to do it for you or doing it with you I should say but they are doing a lot of things for you so like I said um I use Young Living. If you are interested, um, we're going to be covering um, essential oils throughout the Summer Chakra series. Um, this is a beautiful starter kit that um, help that Young Living helps you get started with. It's not only going to help like your spiritual and energetic healing and emotional processing, but it's also going to help every aspect of your life, whether it's like helping sore muscles or helping to help keep 
healthy digestion. It'll help. They'll send you different ways to help naturally clean your house. So, I mean, this is a beautiful kit to start a beautiful, healthy lifestyle. And they're the only oils that I will vouch for, even after massage therapy and using them for so many years. Um, they are the oils that I choose because they're the most powerful, beyond organic, um, pristine Mother Earth DNA on the planet. Like they are therapeutic. They're the only ones that have been around for 25 years and own farms all across the world. And they're just doing it amazing. So those are the oils I use. And so I'm going to in, infuse the oils within what we're going to talk about. But if you don't have them, it's okay. Okay, so if you're going to be in this summer chakra class, you don't need the oils. Um, there's going to be lots of plenty of tools for you to use. But if you do have them, I'm going to be sharing some of those starter kit oils that you can use, as well as um, other blends and um, single oils that you can use by Young Living. So, <clears throat> so let's dive into those emotions. Um, first... As far as solar, um, sacral chakra goes, the specific oils for sacral chakra that you can use um, from the starter kit, you can use um, raven, um, frankincense, um, the citrus fresh is amazing, um, ginger, orange, cedarwood, patchouli, vetiver is amazing. And so within these next emotions that I have here, I'm going to show you the way you might be feeling from some of your memories. And we're going to go through and we're going to teach you the different ways that you can walk through to the other side of those emotions and then the oil you can use to support it. Okay, so stay with me. So if we're talking about the Me Too movement, if you feel like you have been a victim, um, I want you to know that there are emotions that you can call to address that. And a lot of it is the way we talk to ourselves and the different words that we can use because our words are power. So if you are feeling like you have been a victim or you have been a victim, I want you to start really connecting to the power of your words. And so if you're in that space, um, maybe say some words and mantras like, I call back my power. I am whole. I am resilient. I can heal. <clears throat> I am safe. I am the leader of my own life and no one has power over me. <clears throat> I no longer am the victim. I am the conqueror. I am perseverant. Fill it in. Whatever you want to be feeling instead of feeling like the victim, claim it, say it, write it, live it, just infuse it within your mind and, and, and don't just leave yourself in that space. So I encourage you to sit as many times as you need. A lot of spiritual and emotional and energetic healing is repetition. It's just like exercise. It's a practice. So if you have to use that throughout the day, if, if these are triggering for you, take those, those words and start infusing them and shifting the energy and shifting the memory and bringing your power back. If you want to add power to it with essential oils, there are essential oils specifically for emotional healing. Um, they have a blend, a blend named Sarah, which is great for trauma and great for healing. They actually even have an, an oil called Trauma Life, Lady Sclerol, or Oregano all help with the feelings of being a victim. And like I said, this book by um, Carolyn Mine is so amazing. It at helping you address the emotion and the way through to the other side. <clears throat> Next, we'll be co covering low self-esteem. So if you're feeling low self-esteem, unworthy, worthless, unattractive, let's start empowering your words with, I am valuable. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am beautiful. Hold, hold your belly. Hold your lower back. Hold that sacral area. 
I am a precious soul. I am deserving. So those are all beautiful words that you can work with to be able to harness your self-esteem and self-love. I always tell women that it's not just strapping on that emotion. Like you're just going to wake up one day and feel that way. It's a lot of little things adding up together for you to be able to break some of these boundaries and really start to feel the emotion of self-love, breaking down all the self-loving actions to feeling a higher self-esteem and feeling worthy. You really have to be your own provider of that and really give it to yourself. So <clears throat> those are the, the feelings on the other end of the spectrum of feeling low self-esteem and unworthy. <clears throat> um, essential oils specifically for those emotions frankincense frankincense is within the starter kit jasmine ylang ylang and lavenders in the starter kit as well um, another big at least one of my triggers has been abandonment like my daddy left when i was a little girl um my mama had different emotional needs at that time and i felt abandonment when i was a little with little child so the opposite end of that is i am worthy of love i am loved i am safe i am open to receive i am my own source of love as a child we might not be be that for ourselves but as an adult we have to learn how to be that for ourselves i am loved um, I am safe. I am seen like the universe sees you. Um, your angels see you like you might not even know the people that see your own beauty, but you, I see my own beauty. I see my own worth. I am valuable. And so, um, emotions to help with abandonment. Ooh, la faith, peace and calming is in the starter kit. Present time is a beautiful oil and it's actually within Young Living's Feelings Kit, which is amazing for helping to navigate your feelings. Um, and also lavender. Um, some more emotions tied to your sacral chakra can be distrust. Um, the opposite spectrum of those emotions, the way through, I can trust again. I can trust my intuition. My gut instincts are strong and I will listen to her and what she says. I can trust the universe. So those are all empowering, thing, empowering things to take back um, that feeling of being distrusting of the world if you've been hurt and how to bring your power back. Um, some oils that can help that these two are both in young living's, um, feelings kit as well. Um, forgiveness and release, um, beautiful different oils to, to help support you. Um, you could also use valor to be able to confidently go into the world and trust who you are and trust that the universe is supporting you and that you can go out and create the life you want. Valor is called like the magical unicorn oil of Young Living because it's just amazing. And it's in the starter kit. Also in the feelings kit as well. It gives you the confidence to go out and create the life you want. Um, the next emotion you can be feeling that can cause sluggishness and imbalance, um, emotional baggage, is loss of identity. Um, you can say things like, I am finding my purpose. The universe is guiding me. I follow what I love. Like the things that I love will spark my, my spirit and I'll be able to go find all the pieces within me that make me who I am. And even just saying, I am, period. If you're not having a close connection with who you are and you're having a loss of identity, just being like, I am, I am, I am exactly who you are. Um, so with that, those are some of the emotions that you can be feeling. I just kind of want to give you an idea of what it is to go through the other end of those emotions and not just being stuck there, really getting your power back. Um, different ways that essential oils can kind of help hold your hand through the whole process. Um, 
it's just amazing. And so if you want to get your kit, I'll talk about that later. But I really want to dive into some of the other tools. Next, we're going to be covering reflexology and some different other tools to kind of like massage our hip area and really getting into tune to this area of our body. I'm going to be getting on the ground with you guys and like really diving into self-care and our anatomy of what houses the woman within us. Oh, which reminds me, the other the other emotion that I wanted to cover was mothering. And so a lot of times my sacral chakra can really get out of alignment. It can affect like my sciatic nerve. It can kind of feel like my hips are out of balance. Like I'm getting a lot of lower back pain. Like my lower back might even go out. That is physical. I mean, those joints and everything can be out of alignment, but I have noticed it's when I'm over giving. So a lot of times when I'm muttering too many things and I'm feeling really scattered and I'm going overboard and not listening to um, my own boundaries of like pulling back, totally over mothering can cause your sacral chakra to kind of get out of balance. So pay attention to that, pay attention how that area feels and really getting in connection with your own goddess self within this area is so important. So give her some love and we're going to go down to that area in just a minute. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.